welcome to Paddle and Hike. Today we're going to talk about the Teton Sport Leaf Mummy Sleeping Bag. I mostly want to talk about this bag because this is a winter bag. I've used it in warmer weather but it's very very warm so I usually use my quilt in three seasons. In winter I will go with this bag. Uh, one of the cons with this bag is it's pretty heavy. It comes with a stuff sack with straps so you can like cinch it down and squ squish it but you see you can't squish it that much. I could squish it a little bit more but still. So it's pretty bulky. It's 4.2 pounds so it's it's a heavy bag but it's a warm bag. So this one is the Scout. There's an adult version and a smaller version too. The Scout is actually the middle one. It's 75 inches long by 30 inches wide at the shoulder but it's a mummy bag so it goes a little bit like shorter near the head but still you get the point which is plenty enough for me when you want to in winter you want to snuggle anyway so when it's packed up it's 15 by 9 by 9 obviously you know you get the point uh, so it's it is bulky it will fit in most off sprays and most backpack it will I did I went on the uh, Dix areas in the Adirondack and I was using this it's just heavy that's it but it's an amazing bag so like I said this version is the Scout one uh, it's the zero degree bag so minus 18 so it's very warm like really warm I would say that minus 18 is life situation because you you freeze at minus 18 it's cold i went up to minus 10 no problem just wearing base merino layers and you're fine you, you're actually very warm and what also great about it it's it's an affordable bag it's at the moment it's 80 dollars on amazon so it's not expensive for a zero degree bag and it's a quality bag so I'll show you a bit of the features and I'll show you what it looks like inside open this up So you get your you get your foot box, and you can see here it says Leaf Zero. There's a model which is green outside and black inside, and there's this one which I prefer, which is black outside and very flashy green inside. So you can find your stuff, and also it's a weird thing. Maybe it's just me. But when it's warmer, like when I went on the uh, Adirondack, uh, I would leave my, uh, my, my, you know, my bag open. And when you try to get in, I want to see if there's something in my bag. <laughs> so if it's dark, you can see it. When it's flashy green like this, even in the, uh, if it's pitch dark with your headlight or something, everything that's not going to be flashy green, you will see it. So I kind of like flashy colors for my sleeping bags. Even my quilt, uh, the inside is orange. Uh, I like it that way. So uh, the features uh, of this bag, I'll put it the other way. Sorry if it's hard to see a bit, but like I like said, it's a mummy bag, very big mummy bag. The texture of the fabric is so soft, like, so comfortable I just love this when I went in the uh, Dick's area what I, what I would do I was in a hammock so I would leave it it was too warm so I would leave it open and use it a little bit as a hundred quilt so it was under me and I was just covering myself with it and I was using the the hood for a pillow and that was enough because it's pretty thick you have a lot of cushion so you, you're all like surrounded by a like, very soft material. So what you have here is like a lot of uh, sleeping bag habit. You have a Velcro. 
and you have an anti-snag zipper all the way so that's just so amazing and you have draft tubes inside like this I'll show you you have like this draft tubes so it really keeps everything from getting in you don't feel any wind nothing the uh, hood is cinchable so you can really really stuck it around your face but when I went at minus 10 what I did is I was wearing a baklava or like a mask and I would just cinch it down and just my eyes were showing didn't feel the thing at all uh, another good thing about it is you have a pretty big actually it's pretty big you have a big pocket inside which will fit uh, any phone and you can put your wallet your keys your phone in it. No problem uh, it, sm iPhone smartphone any phone will fit in there. It's like this big so Plenty space enough so you can keep it warm so they don't freeze so uh, It's a pretty big bag There's a way bigger than this um, I think the, uh, the, uh, the wider version, I'm not sure, I think it's 84 inches by 34 wide, but it's like way more expensive. I think it's in like 130 around US. Also, there's a second uh, zipper at the end, so you can make a draft if you really want it or open it halfway or completely, uh, you can actually completely unzip it and use it like almost as a quilt so this is very interesting for that but it's not an ultralight sleeping bag at all this is over four pounds and it's pretty bulky so if your goal is to be ultralight uh, that's not gonna happen with this but ultralight in winter uh, you know if it goes around zero degrees if you're doing it ultralight Wow, you're really good because, and, or you have really expensive gear because it's really hard. But for zero degree, I think very affordable, good bag. Hope you like it. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any future video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.